welcome to this video about fugue improvisation. Today I will show you how you can um, learn to improvise a fugue, how you can start to learn it, uh, how it's possible for beginners to get into this subject without getting it too complex and uh, also that it's very much possible to practice it and to make progress in this uh, subject. For this matter, I prepared a fugue subject, which is very simple, it's this one. Um, you can learn many principles with those three notes, for instance by adding already a counter subject, which is uh, also very standard, it's now in the upper voice. So you have a octave, a seventh, it resolves down to a sixth. Six. It's good to sing both voices, for instance, the, the lower voice is upper voice. And then you can invert the voices. So you have a unison, second, third, third. It's good to check if you don't have to think too much about it. It's uh, important that it get it's very fluent, for instance, by just playing it in different keys. whatever you want. Then we can already go to the fugue. So a fugue starts with what we call, call a dux. That's the theme in the main key and it's answered by a comus, which is uh, the transposed theme. Dux means leader, comus is the follower the follower is at the fifth or at the lower fourth. So we have a dux, which starts now with a C, a chorus, which starts with a G, dux, chorus. So C, G, C, G. Very important and useful step is just to, to play it like a one voice fugue. So you start. Chorus. Do always check if you have to think, if you have to uh, doubts. If you have doubts, you have to practice until it gets very fluent. Now we can add already our counter subject, which we won't add the first time because the first theme comes alone. And when the third voice comes in, we could add a, a, a third voice also. We have an octave, we can add a third. Now a seventh, we can add a third again, so third to the bass, it's a, 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 um, a an F, an F, a solution, and then again a third, so we have third parallels, or tenth. And then the fourth time we can also keep three voices, it is perfectly okay. So it gives that result. It's very useful always to end with a cadence formula. Um, it's good to practice that to be always able to end a piece. So what I did is only... You can do a 5-6 chord or only a, um, a 
So now you have the um, beginning of a fugue already with a cadence to end it. And practice also by singing uh, different voices, for instance the alto. So all of that takes some time. After you can add a passing note to lead from the theme to the to the counter subject, for instance. Now you cannot imitate it because otherwise this would have to go to doesn't work. So you have to do something else. From this to this you don't need a passing note, you can't use it anyway. So you can do something else like Now you can already change the theme a little bit, for instance, You can also do it in minor. And of course, make sure that you master everything you do. Play slowly, sing middle voices, check out everything, take your time. I wish you good luck and see you soon for another improvisation video.